So I have this meeting, like a very nerve-wracking meeting at 10, and it's with Damn. and it's for a documentary series with Is it really? Yeah. company is fortunate enough in the past few years to manage six figure influencer contracts and I thought it'd be interesting to show you guys the behind the scenes of everything it takes from start to finish of closing a brand deal. Now I made a couple videos in the past on my channel explaining how to get a brand deal but I never talked about how it actually works and holy fucking shit it's a lot of work. So I'm gonna go over the five steps tell you guys all the tips and tricks and if you're also an aspiring influencer or content creator or freelancer I'm gonna give you some advice that saved my ass and hopefully will save yours. Okay, listen, I've been reading some comments lately and some of y'all don't really vibe with my vlogs. <laughs> some people say I'm clickbaiting everybody and I just talk too much. Now, here's the thing, okay? I would love in a perfect world to keep making sit down straight to the point marketing videos. I would really like that. But unfortunately, I'm a little bit anxious and I've been going through some shit, literally. So I don't feel like sitting in my room all day. I just don't. So I have been taking guys throughout my day and I'm really sorry if that's clickbaity and you don't like it. I run a company full time and I'm trying to make YouTube videos full time. I just, I don't want to sit at my desk all day. So just for you guys to make this video a little bit more impactful, I'll just cut straight to chase, explain how to get brand deals in five steps and kind of go through the entire process. And if you guys want to stay to the end and see my vlog, you can. I'd really appreciate it if you did stay. All right, the five steps to getting a brand deal is step one, the brand approaches you. You go into delivery mode. You ask the brand, what are they looking for? What's your budget? What's the brief? These are all questions I genuinely ask the brand when a brand approaches us. Step two, we go into negotiation. Here's the thing, okay? pricing yourself is an art, not a science. So you have to understand what the brand's budget is and what your value is and try to meet in the middle. They always say for every thousand followers, you should charge $10 to the $10 CPM. That depends on who you are and the brand too. So just keep that in mind. Step three, we have the legal process, which I go over heavily in this video. You will see me a little stress about it. Step four, the creative process. This is where I negotiate with the talent about what the vibe is once we approve the budget. And step five is we get the video approved. So there you go. I laid it out for y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> guys, it's 6 30 a.m. and it's time to go hiking. We're picking up Creed. I feel like all I do is pick up Creed. As of lately, yeah. You went from sliding into his DMs and not picking him up. <laughs> Me and Creed are just friends. So we're gonna go. <laughs> we'll ask Creed later. I have been waking up at 6.30 for the past few days. I went sunrise hiking and surfing. So I want to take you guys to one of my favorite spots. This is one of my favorite spots. Have you been to Avila Ridge? Yeah. You want to hike that? Yeah, we're hiking that. All right, see you guys there. Should I ring his doorbell? Yeah. Oh my god. Kareed's not, he did not wake up, or maybe he thought we're hiking at 6.30 p.m. Did you specify? Isn't it obvious? Sun goes down at like five. I literally called him four times. Should I knock on his door? I feel so bad. He has like no, roommates. Room roommates. <laughs> Where's his window? I know where his window is. Go knock on his window. Okay. Investigation. Wake up, Creed. <laughs> Let's go. Cue music now. Jade, I can't get out. Jade. <laughs> <laughs> like next to a plant. Oh. But his like window's right there. Okay. That's the door to his room. Oh. Oh, there's a gate right there. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what if this is not his room? <laughs> Creed. McKinnon. Creed. <laughs> okay, this boy's sleeping. We're just gonna let him wake up. We'll come back. Feel bad. Because I think his roommate is by the window. So we're getting coffee because I'm not supposed to drink coffee for my digestive system. Like, it's pretty bad, but... I don't care. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm guys. I know. What are you doing? <laughs> really need coffee? <laughs> Little bitch, what's up? Sunset. Sun, sunrise. Where are you? We're not too far. If you, will you be ready in like five minutes? Yeah. Okay, I'll turn around. Okay, bye. Bye. Those are the smart ones, all right. Hey. <laughs> I think I know what happened. I told you 
a.m. I just didn't say anything for him. I made him look like a fool. I trapped and <laughs> Oh my. This guy. No. So you say on TikTok you wake up every day and do all these Bro, things when in reality you just sleep in? Okay, hold up. I was up and then I was like, I have no reason to be up right now. Wait, so you don't hear me tapping on your window? No, I was out. <laughs> He's out. You what do you mean, wait You open? fucked up, bro. I fucked up? <laughs> so I knew it was sunrise, and then you messaged me yesterday and it was like sunset, and I was like, oh, okay, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you hike with Jay at 6 <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Alright, I'll see you guys finally after hours waiting for Creed. We're gonna go to the hike. I finally woke up Creed. God damn. We're here at Avila Ridge, one of the favorite spots. I'm really excited. It's really, really easy. I'm losing my average virginity right now. Yeah! <laughs> you really never been here? No. That's so strange. Dumb. But this is the start of the hike. After this, just straight up. Get the dump truck 2021. <laughs> Dude, Korea has kind of like a dump truck. What are you guys doing for the rest of the day? So I have this meeting, like a very nerve wracking meeting at 10, and it's with Damn. And they approve the budget for this campaign I'm working on with them to hire some influencers, but they don't agree with the creative brief. But like we approve the money, but like we want it this way. And honestly, I'm stressing out because this was why last week I told you guys I couldn't poop because I didn't think they were gonna say yes to money. They said yes to the money, but now I have to deliver on their creative brief. But none of the influencers agree with the creative brief, so it's like. What's the creative brief? It's for a documentary series with. Is it really? Yeah. And <laughs> just yeah, you just say that nonchalantly. <laughs> <laughs> He's hosting documentary series. They want to do some TikToks to promote it. I don't know if you've had this, but like whenever you work with a brand, they always wanted like they think they know what's best for the audience, but then you know your audience the best. They don't listen to you, so it's just a little hard that way. And I'm stressing. Yeah. Did you um find an influencer? Yeah. Yourself? It's already like signed. That's the thing. I can't like back out. I, either I have to make someone happy, and the influencers are mad at me because I had to change their vision, or <laughs> gonna sue me because I said yes to it. It's launching next week. So I'm like, Wait, did you already film it? No, it's, we have to turn it around like if one week. Today's the day I had to send the final creative brief. Yeah. Anyways, to be continued. That's why like my week has been causing me <laughs> to not shit. To not shit. Yeah, exactly. Because like you would think once you get the money from brands, it's all easy. I didn't realize how hard it is to fulfill the project. <laughs> and at this point, I'm like I will lose money now just because the amount of like you know reputation this could cause for the creators and like you know there's, it's just more than that. So I'm I'm learning that lesson. Is the only difference just like the happiness aspect? Basically, we they want to feed them a script and they don't want to read the script. Let's just say that. Oh, okay. So it's like my. Job Job is to be the middleman and to see it. So that's my meeting at 10 a.m. to like see how I like, adjust it a little bit. Yeah. If I can find a middle solution, then we're good. If it's not, then I'm a little fucked because I already said yes. Yeah. And yeah, it'll work out. That's pretty cool. You gotta catch up. We're here at the top. Sorry, I'm really tired. I didn't sleep yesterday. I'm fucking stressed. It's okay, this is nice. Oh, sure, update, my pooping is not working and I'm gonna see an actual nutritionist, dietitian, who specializes in IBS. Creep? No. <laughs> Personal experience. Damn, this is the start of a music video. Cue the music. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back Like and subscribe <laughs> And make sure you follow me on Instagram and buy my ebook. Buy my ebook <laughs> And My course Buy my course <laughs> And sign up for my newsletter And God, it just keeps going. This is the most treacherous pro of the Avila Bridge. Yeah. It's going down the ridge. Let's see if we make it. Yeah. We gotta be careful. It's hella treacherous. You're gonna slip. Me? <laughs> Since when do I slip? I actually, look at Tanya's shoes. Oh no. Rip. Dude, it's over. over. Do not go backwards! <laughs> do it. Put it in your clubhouse bio. <laughs> I can film backwards going downhill. On a what? There's a snail, making its long, treacherous way. How long do you think it's going to take him to get to this side of the pond? 
Do you see that? Got ankle weights. I got ankle weights. How this do is I... how you build a booty dump truck. <laughs> do all this stuff. How do we get this off? The girls do. Yeah. Like, yeah, ankle weights. How do you fucking get in? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I've got some, some brains, bro. BB energy. Big brain energy. No BD. B, BDE. Wait. BBE over BDE. BBE, baby. Big bang. Big, Bye, Creed. Bye, Bye, Creed. Oh my god, I'm such a big Cheers. fan. Love. Bye, oh Creed. I'm so fun. Hey. Love you, Creed. Bye, Bye Creed. <laughs> love you. Oh my god, he's so annoying. He's so annoying. What? Oh, sorry. What did you say? Sorry, I didn't I didn't say anything. Oh, bye. Bye. He's so annoying. He just didn't wake up at all. <laughs> bye, Kree, love you. <laughs> and now we're having a meeting at 10 a.m. Are you gonna get breakfast? Oh yeah, are you hungry? Are you recording? <laughs> So I honestly just came off my phone call with the client and the influencer and I have an update Okay, so this is a part of the video where I actually explain how a brand deal works So typically after you agree on the creative brief you go over deliverables It's time to go into legal action. So I just got my contract from my attorney It's so important when you get a contract from a brand you send it to your attorney because holy shit I can't like show anything, but do you see how many red lines there is in the contract? That's my attorney made red lines for me to make sure we're protected from the company that we're working with I used to not send my contracts to a lawyer because I couldn't afford it but it makes everything protected basically in dumb language this brand was going to use the content without paying for licensing they were going to have full rights on ownership there's a bunch of things that this contract helps mitigate so that's typically the next step after you negotiate i just got the agreement back so now i have to send it back to the brand to make sure they approve these remarks there's a lot of back and forth it's actually such a pain in the ass it takes weeks sometimes so that's why i can't poop because i'm also stressed that you know what if this contract doesn't get approved i don't know if that's helpful knowledge but i do recommend to get an attorney especially when dealing with larger projects. So once this contract gets approved by the brand, then the influencer that we're working with is able to go into the art and to the content creation side. Typically, I'll show you actually guys here. There on the contract, there's always something called an exhibit A deliverable. So the brand actually gives us deadlines on submitting approvals and you know sending first drafts before posting to the accountants. And finally, the fifth step is posting it and sending an invoice. I, this morning, was sending an invoice. I use a software called Invoicely. So if you guys are curious, you actually have to send them a piece of paper with all your information. So I'll just show it to you guys and we'll blur this out. But you can see here, this is the invoice for an influencer I worked with. The total was $1,750 for this brand. And I send this and brands typically pay from 30 to 90 days. So the invoice will be due in March 27th. It's so normal for a brand to take forever paying fucking annoying but you know we send emails after the video is done so that's how a brand deal works and of course there's mistakes and of course it's really stressful but all in all it's a great experience and that's how whenever you see an influencer or your favorite content creator talk about a product just realize it took weeks of stress to get there a lot of the times but the five steps to a brand deal hope you guys enjoy shout out to the comment on this post to be featured in the next episode